crazy, wasn't yeah. it? There's a serenity about it. The fire at night, the lake. The miles that we ride to get to these places, you always think, oh, it's a lot of miles. We're gonna do 500 miles, 800 miles, but things change all the way along the way. I mean, we ended up with the sun going down and the lake was beautiful today. You wouldn't have seen that if you didn't go the distance. Let's get out of here, man. Hey, good morning, guys. Ooh, what a rough night. Uh, we're just waiting for Josh to bring some bail money. Uh, it was tough. And tough. I don't know what happened to the gals either. I don't know. We got to find them. Uh, this find them. was a tough night. But hey, you know what? The life on the two lane, you never know what's going to happen. So once we get out of here, maybe we'll go get a patch from the sheriff's station. We saw a couple deputies this morning. They uh, offered the patch up. Uh, and then we're going to get on the road and head to Island Park. That sounds what like a think? plan. I, I, I like to be a free bird myself. So. Yeah, let's uh, get to the cabin. But before we get on the ride, let's go get our patch. We love being free men. Free men. And free we are. Free at last. Thank you for the bailout, yeah. Josh. <laughs> yes. We're going to go in and try and get a patch, I guess, aren't let's we? Let's do it. Come yeah. on, ladies. Yes. Let's go here up to are. the front counter I see, there. A, I see a nice collection of patches already developing over here. Look at this. Look, there's an L.A. County Sheriff. There's a SWAT, L.A. Dallas. SWAT. Wow, a lot of patches here. They have us beat, but our, our patch wall is growing. How are you? Good, how are you? So good, we're with Tulane Life. We support law enforcement, uh, firefighters, men and women of serving the uh, armed forces. Mm -hmm. And we have a patch wall in our studio. Right. You think we could get one from you? Sure. Awesome. Oh, that Very is cool. cool. Here, this is how you can follow us. Oh, great. We met a couple of your sheriffs up on the boardwalk and they said, come down and get a patch. So we really appreciate this. So, you know, we your them. wall's <laughs> big, bigger than ours, though. Uh, they go all the way down the hall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very we cool. We don't even keep track of them anymore. We yeah. probably have duplicates. But right. Yeah. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks for all you guys. Let's do. see. It's awesome. Awesome. And I'll give this to the sheriff. The collection grows. Yes. We'll see you <laughs> down, down the road. road. So are we ready to go? Ready? Let's get on these bikes and, and make a make a beeline out of here. What a great time though. What a great time. So like make a baby and head out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get over to that troll park. Hey Lance, what's up buddy? Oh, you know, we just had a nice breakfast. We're cruising out and we're gonna roll through the town here and then hit the road. What are you doing? Well, we're gonna go past the George Washington Memorial Park here where all these antlers uh, are set up. There's four arches, a couple thousand antlers in each one of them. And last night we were at the Cowboy Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. Yes, right there. And we ate dinner there at the local, which was great. Yeah, nice dinner there. Had a bison uh, fillet. It was good. Let's go right here, Josh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's take a ride and get the whole setup here. This is pretty darn cool. Look at the boys over there singing. Yeah, and you could tell this place is uh, alive and full of people. Let's go around this guy. No. Here we go. So we're gonna make our way out of town here. We're gonna go down to the Troll Park. It's Rendezvous Park and there's a troll uh, dude in there. And uh, we'll, we'll get that picture and then we'll head over the Teton Pass. We'll get up to about 9,000 feet up there and then drop into Driggs. Uh, and then uh, on our way to Island Park and go to the cabin. That sounds like a plan, I tell you right there. Boy, look at that view up there with the ski runs and just spectacular. Yeah, it is definitely amazing. It's busy in here today, isn't it? It's definitely busy. We spent two days in this town and had a wonderful time, which is really cool. We got to get some patches from uh, sheriff and police. You know, maybe that's something we start now. Let's get into these small towns and see if we can, uh, you know, maybe acquire a patch or two from these guys. I like it. Get that collection on the wall growing. All right, well, let's, uh, 
let's let people cross and uh, let's get over to Rendezvous Park. All right, well, we'll see you uh, down the road. See you down the road. Hey, so uh, you were up here a week ago, hon? Yes, and a local told us about this art uh, project that was being built here, and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's pretty cool. So, so what, now Teresa has a point of interest to share with us. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Rendezvous Park? Yeah, Rendezvous Park, and it's, I guess, considered Wilson. Yep. Are we going on a rendezvous? <laughs> we are. We're rendezvousing with the troll. That's yes. right. Well, okay. let's uh, walk over there and see what you got. I you, see something over there. Yeah. All right. I guess we could have been over there helping. Watch her go backwards into the... Come step over here. Um, ooh. Wow. Oh not, my gosh. Not him, it's a girl. She's so cute. Oh, it is a girl. You're right. <laughs> That's so cool. It's a trollette. It is. That is really cool. Well, look, she's got a leg out, one uh -huh. bent. Chilling on the chilling side on of the, the water. Yeah. yeah. You guys are kayaking. There's a lot of uh, engineering and uh, hours of building right there. The, apparently, it was donated by the school, the local school kids raise money oh my to, for all the materials and the artists, I guess. This is what you call plan your work and work your plan. This is what you call just creative artistry. And you always think about trolls, right? My dad used to say we'd be coming through Idaho, there's these like old train bridges next to the car bridge and he'd start sputtering the car and turn off the lights and come to a stop in the middle of the bridge and it used to scare the hell out of us as kids. Like the troll's gonna come up and grab us. So this is why you are hot, kind of like who you are because your whole life your dad really messed with you. He loved you. So, <laughs> right? What does that mean? I'm. This is you're how the, I am. You're the prankster. Oh. You're always messing with people. You, you, you know what I mean? You want to go a little fighter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Speaking of trolls, when I was little, and I don't know if you guys living in California, when we would go through Malibu Canyon to the beach, you would uh, there was a hut down way down below, and my mom always oh. said, "That's the troll's house down there." Oh no way! <laughs> yeah. So you always were like, oh, I can't wait to oh, so get the troll that's out. why you yourself are a prankster. Exactly, right? right? So there you two you are pranksters so because was you were pranksters. So he just living a quiet little sheltered right. life. Yes. You and I were. No, I was a traveler. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was lost in space. <laughs> yes. Well, let's uh, get down the road here and then let's get over to the Driggs and uh, head to the cabin. Sounds All right? really we'll good. see you down, down the road.
what a great run, man. I hope you're enjoying this Yellowstone run because we are having a great time. It's brought to you by Cobra USA. We run their American-made parts like Sissy Bars racks and exhaust systems. And hey, they make them for all different kind of bikes. You can go to TwoLaneLife.com and check out the parts. We're proud to ride loud and hey, see you back in the video. I mean, we had a cool ride in and I gotta tell you, I was getting hungry and the BLT was bomb. I mean, you, you're a connoisseur of BLTs. i kind of been into BLTs lately. <laughs> right? I mean, like, we're at, uh, what, brews, and you get... BLT. Right. I mean, um, I get a lot of other things, but I do like that. Well, we had a bison burger. Uh, Josh had a Wagyu sub sandwich kind of weird thing. That, man, all the food was great. <laughs> I mean, we're at the, what is this, the Trout Hunter? Yeah, and we're in Last Chance, uh, Idaho. It's uh, kind of a cool little town. Is this a finger of the Snake River, or what is Well, this, this is a fork of the Snake River, and it's called Henry's Fork. Henry's Fork. Yeah, and, and from here all the way up through the park into Yellowstone is world-renowned fly fishing. And I see a fly fisherman over there, Jim, Yeah, and he's already caught two. He's caught a couple just while we're sitting here, but it's catch and release here. Right. So he's putting them back in. He'll net them. He'll keep the fish in the water breathing and try to get that fly out with the least damage possible. Um, Laura just ate a fly. It's, there's, <laughs> there's it's quite a tasty. Lot of, a lot there's, of protein. <laughs> There's so, a lot of mayflies here, and yeah. the fish come up, and the swallows are coming in, and as those flies are down on the water, they'll eat, go after them. So last time we came through here, there was so much smoke, and this was like a couple years ago going to Sturgis. We didn't see the Tetons, but on the 20 coming in, you see them the whole way in. I was so bummed that you guys didn't get to see them. But we did today. And I'm glad that you did, yeah. and I wish the guys were able to see that too, because we'll, we'll get them back up We'll be here. back. They have but, to see it. it was yeah. So amazing. Yeah. It was like, it's God's country up here. Yeah. Well, and they weren't even as clear as we wanted them to be right. because there is some fires yeah. that are going on, but uh, pretty, pretty grand, you know? I mean, this is just wide open spaces out yeah. here. And how far is the cabin? Just right up over Maybe there? Maybe 15, 20 minutes. And we were sitting out on the patio in the beautiful sun, 70, 72 degrees. You got this huge river. Can't well, it. I can't wait to get to the cabin and get the barbecue ready and park and do all the fun stuff. Well, let's go do it then. Let's get to the cabin. All right, let's see you down in the cabin. I'm here, buddy. How's it going? What's happening? Well, we're headed down. Uh, this is the road down to the gate. We are almost to the Anderson family cabin. Well, there you have it. Good times will be had by all. Yep, should be really good times. So this is the kind of stuff we see on the two lane, man. <laughs> well, it's beautiful down through here. I think we've hit it the right time of year. We're going to have some nice flowers. Uh, you can see them blooming kind of on the base here. Yes. We got the pines leaking over, and, and this is a lodgepole pine. It's not like out where we are, where the redwoods and that, you know, so thick. This this is what they call lodgepole, so it's a long, slender pole. Uh, they tend to do beams and things out of it, pretty cool. So we're arriving at the gate. Look at that. The American flag is waving proud and strong. Right. Now, did uh, we almost get uh, caught in the gate here? We go together, or what's the deal? I think you might have, but why don't you guys scoot up a little closer? Yeah, then Teresa will s slide it in there, hun. Go, 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 go. Awesome, we're good. All right, we made it in. So let's see, can we have a fire? Let's see, hi. I didn't see, we'll have to check it out. So this is the causeway. This is uh, Island Park Reservoir, and uh, they have the most spectacular fireworks show. It doesn't look like they're going to do it this year because of the dryness of the weather. But we all sit out here on chairs and just watch it. Or we're out in the boat under the fireworks. So reservoir is pretty high. Yeah, it looks full. Yep. So they haven't been starting uh, letting the water out yet down to the farmers. 
but yeah this cabin's been around in our family for a long long time and uh super excited for you guys to come enjoy this yep i mean we've been here we just have never talked about it on vlog right now everyone's gonna want to come here right <laughs> <laughs> all the guys that went to sturgis that time we stopped here loved it it's a great memory for them yeah for sure well, let's get over to the cabin and get unpacked, and then we need to go out and get some groceries. Yes, we do. Excited for uh, Laura to see it and Josh. Do you want to just uh, keep chatting till we roll up onto the cabin, or? Whatever you want to do, bro. Yeah, so this whole island on the 4th of July, there's a 4th of July parade, and people just line the sides of the, the roadways here, and People drive by on their four-wheelers and flip out candy and stuff. Pretty funny. So we're on the uh, parade route right now. We are going actually the opposite way of the parade route. They're usually coming this way. Gotcha. But you never know. Sometimes they may reverse it. Oh, Jesus. You can drift around that on the four-wheeler. <laughs> All right, this is my uncle's cabin here. Uncle Williams, Steve Williams. And here we come up on the Anderson family cabin. Oh, there's some bear here. There's uh, my cousin Evan. Awesome, we're here. So is this a lake that we're on or a river? It's actually a spring. Spring. And it's one of the largest springs on the Yellowstone Plateau. Interesting. This is a million three years old caldera through here. So we're in a volcanic cavern. I mean, gotcha. it's really kind of cool. I didn't feel the water. Is it warmer it's or It's about cooler? 52 degrees. Okay, so it's um, still chilly. Yeah, and it, it primarily is fed through rain and snow, but it filters down through this, you know, ash and material and slate that's been compounded so it's not ash now but it's hard and material right. and keeps the average water temperature about the same all year round 52 degrees no matter what no matter what and what is the pump house over here uh it, they just put that in as a kind of a you know add-on to show that there's a wheel because that's one of the areas where the springs comes out gotcha go up the top here and it also comes out up here but this is kind of cool feature have a little kind of museum thing here it's not open now but we used to come here I mean li literally from when I was four or five years old and we saw some pictures of some big rainbow and cutthroat in this you know underneath this bridge here but it used to be filled I mean they're all, huge they're big they're like this 24 uh, yeah. inches long and it's the biggest trout I've seen yeah maybe three and a half four pounds yeah, but it goes way up in there and that's dope but it is moving down it moves and there's a boat launch just down not a you can't do like a motor boat but you could do a float you can do a you know a kayak or something so slower moving river or springs but it's kind of fun to float sometimes what is this area called i mean big springs this is big springs yeah we got i almost feel like i'm in malibu with the with right? the seagull i mean <laughs> well we're stepping in the seagulls yeah but anyway <laughs> i think they like what we're talking about right right Anyway, wow, this is really great. Well, let's uh, check this out. Maybe we can, uh, Gilbert may want to jump up. And then we'll run over just past Max Inn. And this is, you'll see where this river, the springs comes out. Uh, and then we'll run over to Island Park Store and get some food. Boom, let's. Sound good? See you down go. the road.
Well, hey guys, here's where we ended the night at the cabin in Island Park, Idaho. This is called Bill's Island. It's a family cabin. It's been around Leon Woodhouse Anderson, my father, Evan's father. Um, wow, it's just so much history here. I mean, the journey getting here today was amazing. Yep. We saw a lot of beautiful country. We saw the Grand Tetons. Um, beautiful farmland. It was crazy, wasn't yeah, it? Amazing. Was it was truly amazing. It was like heaven on earth. And a lot of good food all the way. We had yeah. that <laughs> burger and last chance and yeah. the soup that you had. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, but we made dinner here tonight. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. And I got to believe that they love those drone shots across the lake. Oh. And, at, and over at Big Springs as well. Wasn't that pretty cool with the big fish? Yeah. Uh, we did a lot of drone flying today. Yeah. You know? We did. Did we do it? I yeah. don't know if we did. No, we did. We rode in it. Right. But we actually didn't pilot it. Josh. You know who piloted it. Awesome. But hey, tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, we're going to head into Yellowstone. We're going to do the loop. We're going to see some bison for you, I'm hoping. Yes. We're going to get some huckleberry ice cream. We're going to go into Old Faithful. We're going to go look at the lodge. Uh, we'll come uh, back hot here. Springs. No, yes, mm -hmm. the hot springs yeah. for sure. Painted pots. Yeah, painted Wasn't pots. Old Faithful every hour on the hour? At one point it was, but now, now it's, it's a not. little intermittent, but it's not that far off. Yeah, a couple minutes maybe. Yeah. But hey. But I'd like to dedicate tonight to my grandfather, Lynn Anderson, and his two sons and all the families, Lynn Anderson, Ennis Anderson, Doris Anderson, Glenn Anderson. Uh, these are Kasia, his wife, absolutely. So, we will see you down the road tomorrow. Or do you want to say something? Well, I don't know. Do we have to tell them what to do now? Go ahead and oh, yeah. close it out. You got to subscribe to the website. You got to su subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell your friends. Ring the bell. Give them a thumbs up. Comment. Comment because we love it. All now, right. we'll now see you down, down the road. road.